Hi, I'm Mike DeMergis, and welcome to the Week 11 Email Advisor with the King, Scott Engel. And Scott, we're really rolling into the end of the season, aren't we? Yes, these are the end of the bye weeks. The Giants need a bye week, you know, and uh, next week we won't have to deal with that. We're getting closer to the fantasy playoffs, and everything is magnified. That's right. The intensity is up, and so are the emails. Yes. Let's get right to it. An Android user asks, should I start Matt Schaub or Nick Foles, Scott? Matt Schaub or Nick Foles. You can ask all your questions if you have an Android device. RotoX advice, free, all one word on the Android market. Nick Foles or Matt Schaub. Nick Foles is interesting. Gets a start in the, in the place of the injured Michael Vick, but he faces the same adversity as Michael Vick. Offensive line issues, a defense that's con- constantly putting a quarterback in adverse passing situations. Mm. Even though you kind of like the matchup on paper against Washington, too early to take the gamble on Nick Foles. Matt Schaub won't give you great numbers, but against Jacksonville, he could have more than one touchdown pass. I say Matt Schaub over Nick Foles. And last week uh, in Week 10, a lot of NFL quarterbacks really took a beating. Yes, they did. And uh, a lot of fantasy teams are going to take a beating if uh, they start Byron Leftwich, but I know that they're not <laughs> that dumb. So Let's go to Manning Fest Destiny. McGahey, Richardson, Alfred Morris. I need to start two, Scotty Boy. Well, Trent Richardson is a must start no matter who he faces. Right now, he's just about a top five fantasy running back. The ribs are not a problem right now. He'll go out there against Dallas, he'll score a touchdown. Alfred Morris is the other guy I like. Alfred Morris seemed to be wearing down before the bye. The bye gives him a chance to refresh himself, come back strong, and you need that when you're a Mike Shanahan running back. Because as you well know from watching football, Mike Shanahan running backs take a lot of shots in the open field. Alfred Morris will be well-rested and start to play better again. I'll go with Alfred Morris as the second choice there. And so do Mike Shanahan quarterbacks as well. <laughs> yes, yes, this is true. Crocker S, non-PPR. My running backs are Rice, Martin, Morris, and Matthews. I've been offered Morris and Matthews for Chris Johnson and Willis McGahee. Should I do the deal, Scott? Uh, actually, it's the reverse since he does have Matthews. But uh, t- to me, this trade is kind of a wash and uh, might be harder to pull off now that, that Matthews is injured and we don't know 100% about his availability. It's really like two similarly ranked players at the same position. You're not making any major upgrade, especially at this point. Of the season, Mike, when you make a trade, you want to do two th- one of two things, or both if you can. A, fill a need. B, make a significant upgrade. And the trading deadline is closing in in a lot of fantasy football leagues. So be smart about what you do. And because it's a wash, we could call it Maytag. Remember the that, old was, that was very bad. You should just go on to the next question. <laughs> I should wash your mouth out with soap for the bad Remember bad the soap. Maytag, man? He was great. Made those house calls. How old are you? I'm up there. The Maytag, man? Anyway. Black and white? Malcomania. I need one of three. Michael Turner, Mendenhall, DeMarco, or DeMarco Murray. I know the safe play is Turner, but he is stinky bad. Do the other two have a shot at playing? And if so, do they have a shot of doing anything good, Scott? Forget DeMarco Murray this week. He's been able to do some limited work. Probably not back till next week. Uh, the Cowboys don't want to rush him. Mm-hmm. Uh, Richard Mendenhall finally comes back, but... You know, could be a limited work, you know, in his return. I don't know if the Steelers want to rush him back or not. And it added pressure with, on the Steelers' offense as well. Yeah, with Byron Leftwich, you know, at quarterback, Baltimore can easily load up mm. against the run. It doesn't take a fantasy expert to tell you that. So I don't like Mendenhall. You know, Michael Turner had a very bad week last week. But uh, look, at any time, you know, the Falcons can move into position and score from short range. It might take him two, three cracks, but best chance of a touchdown with Michael Turner. And also the Falcons now don't have the pressure of trying that undefeated run as well. So that takes some pressure off them as yes, well. Yes, yes. Okay. The, the Jets have all the pressure now. Start Tebow, not Star Tebow. Mm-hmm. You had to bring that up, didn't you? I had to bring it up. You know what else I want to bring up, though? Go ahead. Play fantasy football for a great cause. Uh, you know, Roto Experts has teamed right. up with the Gridiron, the Gridiron Greats Assistance Fund to bring you Fantasy Cares, a brand new easy to play fantasy football game where you can play fantasy football and help retired NFL players uh, with their financial and medical needs. And it's real easy to play. Anybody can play it, even, even you can play it, Mike. It's just easy picks. Uh, you know, so t- join us, rotoexperts.com forward slash fantasy cares. Okay, and if fans want to email you as well, how do they do that to get their questions asked on this very, very show? The email advice tab right there on the rotoexperts.com homepage. Even you can do that, Mike. You just look for the guy with the bald hair, right? That's right. Well, the, the bald head, I mean. The bald hair, okay. <laughs> 
You should just finish up. That's, you know? that's a wrap on week 11. For Scott Engel, I'm Mike Demurgis.